And in this video, we're going to talk about the critical temperature and the critical pressure. So what is the critical temperature and critical pressure? Well, we know that whenever we have a vapor, if we apply enough pressure to it, we can actually turn that vapor into a liquid. And this phase diagram, this is what it's called. This phase diagram shows the three different phases of any substance. We have vapor, liquid, and solid. Notice that we have pressure on the vertical axis and temperature on the horizontal axis. And what this implies is that we have a vapor. If we apply enough pressure to it, if we increase the pressure on a vapor, eventually it will go through a phase change and turn into a liquid at a particular temperature. Notice as the temperature increases, the amount of pressure required to turn a vapor into a liquid increases as well. But at some point, the energy within the molecules will be so great, as the temperature increases more and more and more, that there'll be some point at which you cannot apply any sort of pressure and turn it into a liquid. In other words, there's no pressure great enough to turn a vapor into a liquid beyond a particular temperature, and that is called the critical temperature. And in this diagram, it's just shown as the, right here, this is the, what we call the critical point, and beyond that in temperature, no matter what the pressure is, you can see that you cannot turn a vapor into a liquid. So there's basically kind of a boundary here, and anything beyond it, you just turn it it just stays in a vapor, it will not turn into liquid. Sometimes they have different names for this kind of substance. It's like a superfluid because it is so dense that uh, it, it acts a little bit like a fluid, but not quite, and it's kind of like a vapor, but not quite. So this gets into a region where the temperature is very high, the pressure is so high that it's extremely dense, but yet it's not considered what we would call a liquid. So a good definition, critical temperature, T sub C, is the temperature above which vapor cannot be made to liquefy, regardless of the amount of pressure you try to apply. And the critical pressure, P sub C, is the pressure required to liquefy the vapor at the critical point. So when you get to the highest temperature where you can still turn vapor into a liquid, that will then be the pressure required to do so will then be called the critical pressure. To get as a feeling, to give us a feeling as to what some of these temperatures and pressures are for water vapor, when you reach a temperature of 374.4 degrees centigrade, you will require 219.5 atmospheres of pressure. That's an enormous amount of pressure to turn vapor into a liquid. When the temperature exceeds that, that won't even do it. Regardless of the pressure, you cannot turn the vapor into a liquid. For ammonia, 132.4 degrees centigrade is a critical temperature. Anything higher than that, regardless of the pressure applied, it will not turn into a liquid. The critical pressure is 111.5 atmospheres, so again, enormous amount of pressure. Now here's an interesting one. Carbon dioxide, notice that it's actually a very low temperature, 31.0 degrees centigrade to turn carbon dioxide into a, into a liquid. Uh, well, actually, let's see here. Uh, that temperature, 73 atmospheres. Yep, you would be above the, the triple points. So yeah, so to turn carbon dioxide into a liquid at 31.0 degrees centigrade, you would need a pressure of 73 atmospheres. Anything above 31 degrees centigrade, you cannot turn carbon dioxide into a liquid. Methane, minus 83, of course, there's not a lot of intermolecular forces uh, on methane, and so the critical temperature is fairly low. At this temperature, you will require a lot of pressure, 45.6 atmospheres to turn methane into a liquid at 83 degrees, minus uh, below zero centigrade. So you can imagine that methane is not likely to turn into liquid unless the temperature is very low. And then mercury, this is interesting, mercury vapor, the critical temperature is 1,462 degrees centigrade, very high temperature, but anything beyond that, you cannot turn mercury vapor into a liquid, and notice the critical, critical pressure, 1,036 atmospheres. So yeah, it's, those are pretty high pressures and temperatures for these substances to turn from a vapor into a liquid. But hopefully this little video gives you an idea what that really is. So there's such a thing, a critical point, that beyond it, you cannot turn a vapor into a liquid. Another way to look at it is, for example, is to draw a little arrow. So let's say at some temperature right here, let's call it T1, whatever it may be, and you go up here, then you can see how much pressure it would require at that temperature, you just read off the scale here, at that temperature to turn a vapor of a particular substance into a liquid. If you then increase the temperature to T2, notice then that would require a greater temperature, I mean a greater pressure for the vapor to turn into liquid and so forth. And eventually, the highest pressure required would be what we call the critical pressure, and then any temperature beyond that, no pressure will, will make that into a vapor. Okay. 
hopefully that clears it up.